different in this episode. Our guys are championing uh, heavy machinery. Kind of a different sort of a uh, Top Gear, um, you know, approach to vehicles. But as Top Gear is, we drive all sorts of vehicles. If it has an engine, that's what we do. So the idea of this is the guys have uh, a big plot of land here, and they are going to be uh, building, designing, and executing the perfect Top Gear racetrack to all of their likings. So first things first is the guys need to learn how to use this equipment. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be for something you play with when you knock that ball oh, open off. Right back. Oops. Oopsies. <laughs> Groaning. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Oh, this thing is a dream. There are no small uh, vehicles, only small hosts. I need one. I got to have one. I first need a... Uh, 80 acres so I can use it. <laughs> Are you gonna take one home today? This yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna steal one, yeah. <laughs> guys are waiting for Dax to arrive, who in the show has basically just set us up. He's going to land, get with the guys, come up with a little strategy plan, and they're going to get off to work. Now, I must say, as a producer, I am a little nervous with this and uh, putting our guys behind the wheel of big, heavy machines, buckets, armed, swingy things, and all of that. But the guys were determined that they wanted to do this on their own, so uh, we just hope that nothing happens. Give it hell, Bobby. Beautiful, Bobby, beautiful. I don't know, I felt like destroying something beautiful, like a fight club. And I'm sort of like the Brad Pitt of this cast, I think. Well, I guess it's safe to say that something happened. Um, as you can see, Dax, we should have probably known, did what Dax does and make a mess of everything. We come here to seriously and scientifically evaluate cars and yeah. challenge ourselves and each other. Yeah. We're not here to blow stuff up. No, no that's so, like, cheesy. Oh, my God. That's what they used to do in Top Gear back in, like, the 1990s. Yeah. What is this, Fast and the we're, Furious? We're so far beyond that now. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I just feel that's demeaning. I would like a gun. Is that dynamite? No, Rob. Always in the day with an explosion. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> in three, two, one! <laughs> I think all the guys still have quite a bit of heavy lifting to do. Um, there's still a lot, a lot of, a lot of work to be done. Um, was it a success? Uh, I guess it really depends on uh, on who you ask. Um, there's uh, a decent amount of earth that was moved, but he still has quite a bit more to do. I liked it. Rob, you liked it, right? What? That was good. Yeah. That was good. That was fun. Yeah. See? We're good. Well, today's the big day for the reveal of this. The guys have been working on their track. So now, after we've heard what the guy's plan is, it looks like they're going to race in uh, anything but race cars. Hey, producers seem to think we've built a terrible course, but we're pretty proud of it. So uh, screw those guys. We're going to race in the old beaten up crap we turned up in um, and show them how great this place is. So today is about fun and, I imagine, some destruction. We're not trying to stick it to them. We're just trying to prove ourselves, you know? Sucks that we have to prove ourselves twice, but.
Okay, guys, I'm down on that. Just uh, coming through Shepherd's Asses, be careful because I am beached. Woo! We, you know, we just ran the course, and the course was, they ran it mainly just, just to see how it was. And they discovered that it wasn't as awesome as they thought it was, and that there were problems with it. In fact, Dax blew a tire, ran most of the course. Jethro was really worried about his car, and in fact, he made it a couple of times, but then he landed right there. You know, at Top Gear, we are always looking for an opportunity or a way to sort of big it up, and. Now we have a perfect opportunity to blow something up. Just another explosion. <laughs> Just getting used to them now. I mean, do you insist on the explosion as your alarm call now? I have, morning? I have a, uh, I need between three and five explosions. Yeah. Um, in every show that I do. There's a lot, there's like a ton of, you know, nervous energy. Because Sarah, can we move your car? The reason is, is over the like side, not the middle of the road. Like one, sh one explosion, and that's it. And it has, and because the explosions right, are surprised, car, it's hard to get guys to their cars. Fabricate okay. a surprise. So that's the tricky part about it. I had a pretty good time. Um, this is a pretty drivable track. Okay, so what did we learn? You uh, kept the dynamite in the car? Yeah. Why'd you leave the dynamite? Yeah. Well, you know, Rob's in this old truck. You've only got one arm. It just didn't seem fair. So I wanted to level the playing field. That's the most thoughtful thing that is nice. That anyone's is nice. ever done for that me. That is nice. Just for one, you old soft. You. Uh, I'm gonna it's safe to say that we have, uh, we have messed some things up. We have messed up a trailer. We have messed up a, well, they have messed up a track, and we have clearly blown some things up. This is awesome. This is amazing. Super happy. We're not paving this track. We're done and going home.